A group of aspiring astronauts is gearing up for a big launch in Virginia. As part of our KRQE original series, New Mexico Frontiers, Chad Brummett introduces us to the pint-sized pilots ready to take on teams from all across the country. It's a successful launch on a crisp Sunday morning. The deserts outside of Albuquerque are ground zero for a rocket traveling 200 miles an hour. But the pilot, payload specialists, and programmers haven't even hit high school. Meet the Star Destroyers, a rocketry team sponsored by Safer New Mexico. The team of seven middle schoolers from Desert Ridge are gearing up for an even bigger launch near Washington, D.C. Trying to take the lessons learned that I learned at work and then pass them to my kids so as they get older they'll be kind of the elite level employee. Jason Sievert works for the Air Force Research Labs, and in his limited spare time, he's teaching this young group of students, including his son Merrick and daughter Kennedy. It gets multiplied by four. The skills of science, technology, engineering, and math in a hands-on real world environment. I'll walk by, I'm like, what are you doing Merrick? And he's showing me all this code and how he's doing trigonometry with it. I'm like, okay. And the team is headed to Virginia for the American Rocketry Challenge in May a competition bringing together 100 middle and high school teams from across the nation. The teams must meet a series of in-flight requirements, designing, building, and launching a model rocket up to 850 feet, carrying a payload of one raw egg and maintain flight between 42 and 45 seconds. The twist is that the rocket must separate into two parts after reaching the highest point of flight or apogee and return safely to the ground. And it is, it's very, very difficult. Um, every, every foot above or below, they'll get a point, and for the time, missing the time, they'll get points. So they're trying for a score of zero points. Uh, this year they qualified, they flew a 13-point uh, flight and a 17-point flight, which is extremely good. Getting this team, the only one from the state of New Mexico to Virginia, isn't cheap. Sievert estimates it will cost around $10,000 to get there. That's where New Space New Mexico stepped in. They have the most amazing design. It, we, it, they came and presented to our team, and we have a few engineers on the team, including myself. And we are young, young kids, middle school. So it's, it's these, they're our future. So of course we had to sponsor them. New Space, a nonprofit based here in Albuquerque, is working to reinvigorate the space industry in the state. Sievert says New Space connected his team with a number of sponsors and helped to build a website for their fundraising endeavors. And they were ecstatic and absolutely willing to help us. We really need to be inspiring young kids, even, you know, first through fifth grade, middle school, and then keep them involved through internships and then they'll be ready for that job placement, you know, as they go on through their high school and college careers. The winner of this rocket challenge will receive $100,000 in prizes and an all expense paid trip to compete in the International Rocketry Challenge at the Paris Air Show in June. And while these young aviators have their eyes on the big prize, their advisors reaping the rewards of this work right now. Now that I've got my kids old enough to learn how to do this stuff, you know, I encourage them to continue it. And this is just a great avenue to to push some of these ideas. Chad Brummett, KRQ News 13. The American Rocketry Challenge is celebrating its 21st year. The organization says they've inspired nearly 90,000 middle and high school students to explore careers in STEM fields. The team is still trying to raise funds to get to Virginia. We've posted a link to their website at alwaysonkrqe.com.